and you're on fumes and you're broken and you're bar- you barely got here today or you're watching on the internet, if you're barely functioning physically, Jesus Christ is for you. Faith, Charles Spurgeon says, faith is weakness clinging to strength. If you're weak, cling to Jesus. And if you're here and you're someone like me who's had a pretty easy life and you're a little concerned, you're concerned when you read that Jesus invites the poor, the crippled, the blind, and you don't feel poor, crippled, and blind, and you're trembling now about the state of your relationship to God because your life's been so easy and you've had everything secularly and carnally that you've always wanted, go to God now as we pray and tell Him, oh God, I would walk away from it all if it's getting in the way of my relationship with you. And if there's anyone here, and surely there is, that has never heard the gospel and heard it today, that God does not invite those with the proper invitation. He invites those who got called from the streets. And you've never accepted that call on the basis of Christ alone and no hope in yourself, only hope in the He who calls, not He who comes. You are invited to come forward. And if you don't feel like coming forward, you're invited to pray as we receive the benefits of the power of the eternal Word of God. Let's pray. Our most gracious Father, we pray now for all of us, we pray a blessing for those who need, who need the encouragement, who need the power, who need the, the bit put in their mouth again to not give up, to not grow weary in doing good, for humiliation hurts, but exaltation is worth it. God, for all the times people have been beat up and left out and bruised, we pray, oh God, you would remember the tears. You would count them in your, in your book. And that that would not be meaningless, but would be doing something that we would wait in a low position because what goes down must come up. And Father, for those of us who have had all the food we could think of and friends and closeness to others, and God, we pray that you would strike our heart now, that we could hear the voice of our shepherd and know that, know that we're saved. And know that our salvation comes not because we're easygoing people with lots of temporal blessings, but because we are clinging and are clung to by the man Jesus Christ himself. And oh God, finally we pray for those in our midst that have just heard the word and the gospel of our Lord, who calls sinners to himself, not the well, but the sick. Oh God, we pray that you would tear apart any barrier that's keeping your people from coming to your feast. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. My friends, as we close our service today, we have an opportunity to respond to the word of God by singing or by coming forward. Most of us will be singing, but if you're called here today to come forward, to join First Christian Church, or most importantly, to give your life to Jesus, saying, this is the first time I've handed over the reins of my life to Jesus. I want to do it today. Please do so by coming forward to receive the right hand of Christian fellowship. And finally, please use your hymnal as we sing this next song. It may not be known to many of you, and you'll need the notes. Please rise.
Would you receive now our benediction? And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance to you and grant you the peace of his Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.